All right, let's see if this is working. Yeah, okay, it should pull up. I want to do a quick commentary over a game where, you know, it's a game where it's a solo carry, uh, spoilered win. Um, and I haven't actually watched the replay of it yet, so maybe I'll pick up things that you know, I could have done better or this and that, but, you know, people always want examples of what to do and how to carry uh, in, in games, and I feel like maybe I can do like a quick commentary. I've never tried one of these before. It might be, you know, not very good, but it also might be good because I can add it to, you know, um, the guide, my mid guide, how to carry and what you should be looking to do and what you should, you know, this and that. So we'll see. I, I don't remember everything that happens in the game. I just remember that, you know, I got pretty fed. The rest of the team was super behind, so it's just, you know, it's a game where it's complete solo carry and how to win it. So what I'm doing here is actually is bad. You shouldn't do this, right? You shouldn't sit in lane and, and do this. It's just I sometimes I fucking, you know. What I should be doing is I should be around here, you know, around here, make sure that I'm invading, or, you know, around here, make sure they're, you know, covering the blue buff, things like that. But instead, I sat in lane. So don't do that. That's not good. You know, I, I make mistakes too. Minions has spawned. Um, all right, let's just see me how this lane goes. Now, what I'm looking to do against a cannon in this situation, it's it's a champion that's gonna poke you out. Right, he's got ranged autos, he's got good poke. You're not really gonna win trades with him, especially early. Echoes level one is one of the weakest in the game. What you want to do is just shove the wave and then look for roam opportunities. Uh, let's, can I put it so, oh yeah, yeah here, we'll, we'll do this. Fog of War, and then I want to see just my team. Will we blue side? Alright, so I don't want to see what they, you know, I don't want to see everything. So, yeah, so my, my goal here is to just push, especially try to get level 2 quickly. You know, my top dies right out of the gate, right? This is level, what was he, level 1? Yeah, he's still level 1, he dies, it's, it's kind of a huge mistake. Um, we're trying to recover him a little bit of CS there, but, you know, our goal here is to just push. Get some CS, look for roam times. And one of the biggest things I'll say, you know, I, I talk about all the time, is you don't have to kill your enemy mid laner to win the lane, right? You have to try to... It, I mean, honestly, you know what the best situation is? Is to kill the enemy jungler. Um, things like that. So right here, we shove the wave. Can I pause this? Pause. Click to pause. Alright, well. Let me jump back 15 seconds. I'll slow this shit down. I guess I can't pause. So we'll just do this. But look what I do. I shove. Okay. So now this cannon cannot roam. Because he has to take care of these minions. If he follows me into the jungle, then he will miss all of this CS. Yeah, so he can't actually follow me. So that's what I'm creating here. I'm trying to create a roam opportunity, a roam timer, by pushing into the turret. So these waves are hitting. My wave is cleared. I have now an opportunity to move around the map and not lose CS. He can't follow because he has to get the CS. Okay? So immediately I'm looking to go with this Elise to see what we can get. We know he's here now. We, you know, we've got the vision. We go over. And we kill. Now, what that allows us to do is that puts, you know, their guy, th their jungler, extremely behind. Um, I go over and kill. Now, he TP'd in the cannon, which was really dumb. He did it just to save the passive, but the odds of him living there was bad. So the cannon kind of fucks up here. You know, we just flash, get the stun, we get two kills. All of a sudden here, right, we're not looking to kill our enemy mid laner 1v1. We're looking to roam around the map with our jungler. That's the most effective thing you can do as a, as, as a mid laner. It's not killing enemy mid. It's not killing, you know, even, you don't have to kill him one time. Just CS well, kill the enemy jungler if you can, and then roam and get your lead across other lanes. So, we're in yeah, situation welcome now. To the club, we now. have two kills out of the gate. This is perfect. Um, we're just going to be, you know, shoving. Looks like our bot lane actually got a double kill here, which I don't remember. But that's good. I think we just go back and buy here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I TP back to lane to make sure I don't miss any more CS. You know, you really want to make, make sure you're getting the most farm possible, the most CS possible. Uh, we're actually going to level up on this guy now. So here's where we can start fighting in the lane. We're going to lose to Kennen early, so that's why we just push and avoid actually fighting him. Trying to get, you know, fights around the map, fights around... Uh, you know, from, from roaming. 
we can push faster than Kennen Rest. You should play into the other champion's weaknesses. So Kennen really can't push. In order to do it, he had to E through the wave. Um, and it's not efficient at all. So here's what we do immediately. We push the wave. And I'm not trying to kill him. Look where I'm going. I'm trying to see wh wh where's the jungler. What's my jungler doing? My jungler's in his jungle. I'm moving in on it. You see? Even if we get nothing... I don't remember if we get anything from this. Even if you get nothing from here, you should be covering your jungle. Make sure that he... You know, he's got cover here. So he can deny this CS here. The the wolf camp from, from Zack. And he doesn't get punished. We're able to get in with a stun here. It looks like easy kill. Boom. We're fucking... We're gigantic this game. This is what you want. Now, I'm really the only one in the game ahead right now. I think their bot lane has a small lead. Uh, our team's up like a thousand gold. But we're, we have this, you know... Huge lead over Kennen, and we never 1v1 him once. Right, so that's what you have to keep in mind here. We never actually tried to 1v1 him once. We developed a lead through roaming with our jungler. And then coming back. And then even when I came back to mid to fight him, I ran with my jungler. So I pushed my wave, went into the jungle to cover my jungler on the enemy jungler, and then we both walked back to mid and got a gank. And here I'm big enough that I can just fucking destroy this guy. So now I've got such a lead on him, he can't actually stop me from doing anything that I want to do. He backs, I'm just going to shove, make him lose all this tower. Bot lane trades kills. I think that... Does, does MF kill the Twitch or does he die? I actually don't know. We're trying to just smack down this turret. Now top lane's dead again. Do I have the scoreboard here? How do I pull up the scoreboard? Oops. Guess I actually don't know. I'll just pull the scoreboard. Whatever. He's died. Quite a few... How many times? Can I click on him and see this way? Man, I'm really bad at this stuff, guys. I really respond. Or I really fucking... I'm sorry about that. Damn, that's insane. So, their Olaf is huge. We're just farming out in lane. You know, we, we can't really roam uh, with our jungler, because our jungler is not away, but look what we're doing immediately. We're pushing the wave and going into the jungle. There's no point in sitting in lane. If you're going to shove, use your roam timers. Every time this turret, every time this wave hits the turret, I'm moving. And that's what you should be looking to do from the mid lane. This is how you carry from mid lane. You constantly look at your lanes, right? Top lane's not gankable because he's pushed. Bottom lane's not gankable because he's pushed. And, um... Elise is in our jungle. So what do I do immediately? You know, I push, go for the blood tower. Uh, I guess Kennen back there. Maybe he got poked out. I didn't see. No, he went down. Okay, we, we get a kill here. Easy. Nice. Alright. So we went one for one on that. Right, and can't kill somebody. I know this is probably not great, guys, but it, the idea is that you'll see like how I play from the mid lane, and this is pretty much like a game where we solo carry the show this game. I think we go 18 and one of like 22 kills. So we're we're just so big to the point. And remember, we built this lead off of not one v oneing, but pushing the wave. Roaming with the jungler. That's all you gotta do. We're using our ghosties to make sure nobody's coming for us. You know, can't delay it. We get a tower here. Two towers is huge by this minute. By, by, by these, uh, you know, 10 minutes into the game, having two towers is insane. He's got vision of me. That's why they're red pinging. Killing Just go back mid, shove it. Take the enemy crows. Don't take your jungler's crows. This is something I see a lot of mid laners do that pisses me off, man. Don't take your jungler's crows. Take the enemy jungler's crows. Right? It gives you a CS lead. It takes CS from the enemy jungler. If you're taking your own side's crows, you're just hurting your jungler. It'd be like your jungler coming to lane and taxing you for nothing, right? Like, if your jungler walked into mid and just took away from you, you'd be pissed off, right? So why are you, like... Why do so many mid laners feel comfortable just walking into the jungle and killing you know, your jungler's crows? We TP here to try to make something happen. You know, we dive. This was warded, though, so I kind of got... Uh, a little bit fucked up here. Not too bad though, not too bad. Well, the plan there was to TP here, then go through the back of the tower. 
Wow, I'm just gigantic. Still getting a lot for the TP though. I think we can still kill him. Now we get the flash. Do we get him? We might actually get him. Nah, not if they heal. We don't. No way. He'd have to fuck out. There's the Olaf. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's I. I'm just hitting buttons and trying to see them. If I get the scoreboard up. That's a rewind. Okay. Here's my one death of the game. I, I mistakenly walk up into the Olaf. Not really. This guy has like seven kills or something by now. Not realizing how huge he is. So like, you know, my mistake. Um... Oh, here we go. So look at the where this game is standing right now, right? We got two five two, one five two, one two seven. She's actually doing all right, and then I'm seven one zero, and he's one five zero. So the only one ahead on the entire team is myself, which is tough. I mean, look at their team. They've got you know the Ken and all the the brand stun, and they also have a huge Olaf to just run me down. So it's a tough game. This whole game, you know, I'm trying to tell. I, I haven't been able to help my top laner. Obviously, he fed too much. So, you know, what you do is, after that first death, I let him know, I'm like, hey, dude, please try to play safe. You don't BM him, but you tell him, please try to play safe, you know how it is. And, and um, you know, he didn't. <laughs> you can't force him to. But, you know, you let him know, you can't actually help him. You help the lanes that aren't uh, going too poorly. <clears throat> the main goal as a jungler is to help your, jung or, uh, your mid lane, is to help your uh, jungler out. Because uh, if you can get your jungler ahead of their jungler, then you and your jungler can can roam over bot lane, for instance, and crush it. So your number one priority in, in, as a mid laner isn't actually to kill your enemy mid laner. It's to constantly do things with your jungler. Twitch pops up mid. We're going back to get him. We do this damage. Bam. Boozle. Sorry about that, that's loud. Bruce checking here, yep, yeah, figured he was in here. Easy dive. So we're just giant this game. You know, this is pretty much how the rest of the game goes, right? We're huge, we're trying to carry, and after the end of the game, I'll show you exactly how we won this game again. I'll hone it on the exact point we won this game. Now, you see, we're big enough to try to help him out. Let's actually fucking where were you winding this game? So, we know we're actually big enough to deal with this because we basically one shot the Zack. So, we can kill the Zack, like, we can kite the Olaf while we kill the Zack, is the goal. I, I actually eat a minion there, otherwise I would have killed him immediately. That's my bad. He tries to fight me instead of just leaving for some reason. They're giving me the rift because I'm so big. Boom. I think uh, they're about to FF. I mean, a lot of this game right now is just Fed Echo and trying to take smart fights. But it's just to show you guys how if you play to your game plan, you play, you know, a lot of people will try to tell you how to win from mid as Echo is to, you know, um, you know, if, if you want to win from mid Echo, you have to do things like, 
you know, kill your enemy mid laner, they run ignite or this and that. And the reality is you don't. You don't have to run any of this. It's AFF right here. Right when we get the Baron. AFF, right? Yep, an AFF. So, <coughs> ah. let me go back to the original start of the game. The biggest part you guys have to realize, here's where we won the fucking game, okay? What the fuck? A summoner has disconnected. A summoner has reconnected. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Okay, like I said, we just shoved. We shoved, we shoved, we shoved. And the, the second we won the game is when we invaded the enemy jungler and killed him. I have so many games like this, guys, where I win the game off of, you know, getting that small lead. If you can get a small lead over the enemy mid laner, you can immediately punish him, deny him from getting CS, deny him from getting levels, and, and win the game that way. But so many echoes I see. They just go for this 1v1. Maybe they're going for a trade right there on the cannon. They're trying to, you know, getting ignite and trying to get that kill out. In reality, it's best to just play to your strengths as Echo. Echo's strength isn't 1v1ing early. It's just not. He's super fucking weak early. This is what he's strong at. Shoving the wave. Making sure that he can't follow me. Because if he leaves, he loses cannon, three casters. He will be a level under me and he will lose the rest of the game. So he has to stay. Look how long he's staying before he can actually come. I'm already over here, about to fight. He's having to push this. Furthermore, I lose less on the next wave. I'll show you that too. So he feels like he has to TP because he can't even start moving until his passive is popped. So he's TPing just to try to save the Zach's passive. But if you look at this, I hope I hope that it actually shows it. If you look at this, it'll slow push. This wave is going to slow push into me because I hit it off the tower. So that means that I lose less minions than he loses. Right? So look at it. Right here. My minions are dying. His are living. Right? So not only did I have a better roam time because I pushed and I roamed, but because the wave hit the tower here, it slow pushes back into me. So you'll see, when I come back to lane, it, let's say we both left at the same time, neither of us got kills. This is the beautiful part about it. If Ken and I both left here, nobody got kills, we returned to lane, I have a CS advantage over him. XP advantage over him. Because he has minions that are dead, not me. This gives me more time to get back to lane and not lose anything as well. He Now, officially right here, he's lost a whole wave. I come here and I clean this up, but look at this, right? Can we pause yet? Okay, we'll just count, right? So we've got, God, we've got, um, you know, four melees, six casters, okay? So that means we only lost two CS from this wave, right? Two, we had two waves stack up, so it should be six, six. We had four, six. So we only lost two minions. He lost a wave and a half. So that's the beautiful part about this strategy, guys, when you use your roam timers properly. You force the enemy mid laner to come and follow you at bad times, and he loses out on EXP. That's why when I come back to lane, we'll fast forward, I'm pushing, I come back to lane. When I'm ready to fight him, look at this, guys. I'm ready to fight him now. He's level 4. I'm level 5. You see? It's interesting. Now I have an EXP lead on him. I have a level advantage on him. He can't do anything about it. Not only do I have the gold advantage from actually having more CS than him, you know, significant amount, 35 to 27, because he lost a wave and a half just to my wave management, not even a 1v1. I didn't push him off this creeps, right? I, I, I haven't contested a CS pretty much at all. I've just out wave managed him, okay? So not only do I have a CS lead, I have an EXP lead, and I have a gold lead from killing Zach, killing the, the cannon, and when we did that invade, we deny the Zach red buff and gives the Elise red buff, so she gets an EXP lead. 
she gets a gold lead. And now Elise can contest him at everything, and she, he can't do anything about it. Now she's big enough, and I'm big enough, that she can go in his jungle and do his wolves, and, and contest even more EXP from him. And they can't do anything about it. He shows up, what's he gonna do? He has to leave. She hits level 5, he's still level 4. I'm right here to defend it. Notice, he still has to farm, I'm right here. This is how you win games as mid, guys. This is how you do it. It's not solo killing your lane. It's not. It's your macro play. Learn this at every elo, and you will climb, I promise you. It's not about solo killing your lane. I do it later when I'm big, when I'm huge. Trying to solo kill your lane early is disrespectful. Play with your jungler. Play with your team. Play the map, because that's where Echo excels, okay? Play towards your champion's strengths. If you're playing LeBlanc, go for that early solo kill, because guess what? That's where your champion excels, okay? Echo is extremely weak in lane early. He just is. It's the champion. He's a melee. It's like casting early. Okay? But what is Echo good at? He's good at shoving waves quickly. He's good at roaming. He's good at, la he's good at ganking other lanes, right? So his roams are amazing. His 2v2 is amazing. But his 1v1 in early lane is not great. Shove the wave. Play towards the other champion's weaknesses. Kennen has slow clear early. Play to that. Shove the wave. Make him not, you know, able to leave the lane, and then you go do you. You go play your game plan, and you go win the rest of the map. I solo carried this game with the strategy. I didn't have to solo kill my laner once, and I ended this game 18-1. and one. Think about that. Practice that. Practice wave management, like I said. When these minions, the, the idea behind it, and the reason why the wave management works, I'll explain really quickly, is when your minions hit the tower, you know, they start attacking the tower, they won't leave target. So they'll continue to attack the tower while his minions are attacking your minions. What that'll do is, basically what ends up happening is your wave will die, his wave will be 100% full health, and your wave coming will be 100% full health, but your wave is coming in one at a time, his wave is bunched up like this when they hit, so they start attacking the same target faster, so then they quickly kill uh, minions, and then they develop a number advantage, and then they snowball, they slowly push into you. So not, not only is it best to have a good roam time, but it also makes sure you lose less on the return CS. Practice this, guys, I promise it'll work, let me know how it is. Hopefully this video wasn't completely hard to follow. Hopefully you learned something from it. If not, you know, I'll try to do these in the future and I'll, I'll get better. This is my first time, guys. But that's the idea. That's what I'm trying to do as a mid laner. That's my goal when I play the mid lane. So if you want to know how I play the mid lane, you want to know my goal, that's it. This game is the perfect Echo mid game. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.